Many of us have wondered how did the COVID vaccines with Pfizer and Moderna get to market so quickly? Well, a lot of it had to do with artificial intelligence and the ability to map out those vaccines a little bit faster. Joining me now is William Falcon, and he is the CEO of Grid AI, and he is an AI researcher, um, an expert in his field. And so I want to talk a little bit about how this um, artificial intelligence is helping us get vaccines and treatments faster to uh, people who need them. Yeah, so I, I think um, you know, if, if you think about the, the vaccine development process, it's kind of got two stages, right? The first one is where you basically try to figure out what is a good candidate to submit to human trials, right? And the second stage being the actual human trials. So that, that first stage where you're trying to scope down the field of possibilities into one high value um, option can take a long time, can take many years, right? Especially when it's a manual process. But if you can have a system that can go through and try millions of ideas very quickly, then you can accelerate that process dramatically, right? So, so that's, that's what I, I can help you do. It's kind of narrow down the scope of possibilities so that you can find a, a, an option that is very likely to make it through human trials, right? And then the second step is, is that the actual human trials, right? So you, you can't normally speed that part up, but if the vaccine that you submit has a high probability of making it through, then you won't have to review that process over and over again and you can just kind of go through the first time. So, so it helps through the, through the whole um, the whole process. What do you think the future of artificial intelligence? What role will it play in the future when it comes to maybe even cancer treatments? Uh, you know, and, and things other than vaccines. Yeah. So, so that is helping scale and like augment a lot of what doctors and researchers do, right? So. You may have a really good, you know, x-ray technician that can look at an x-ray and see if there's a tumor there or not, right? But if you want to scale that up to like low-income communities all over the world where they might not have those doctors, it's, it's really hard, right? So I think AI has a really good capability where you can actually take the few experts that exist and kind of scale them up across the world, right? Um, so I think that's one of the most high value um, ways that AI will help with, with kind of medicine and, and those kind of things. It really is interesting to see um, how far we've come, even in the, the last five years or so, using um, all of our artificial intelligence that we have to advance medicine and to advance treatments. So it's been great to have a little bit of an insight as to how artificial intelligence plays a role in this and will continue to um, in the future. Thank you so much for joining us, William, and giving us a little bit uh, of an insight of the work that you do and the work that everybody is doing when it comes to trying to make sure that we find our cures faster. If you would like more information on Grid AI, I've got that for you on 13onyourside.com.